boys and girls, this is today I want to show you how to create this stairs infographic in Adobe Illustrator. This is a very straightforward process. In fact, I spent more time to trying to find this uh, icon that I found in the allfreedomlots.com. You can uh, find the link in the description. So let's get started from a new document. Go to File New. Set the width of your file to 1120 and uh, height to 980 and click create. I skip this step because I have already have mine and uh, go to a rectangle tool, click on your artboard and set the width of your rectangle to 716 pixels and height of your rectangle to 80 pixels and click OK and set the col fill color of your rectangle to this, uh, to this gray a value and now we need to uh, create a duplicate to, to create a duplicate double click on selection tool and uh, in open move dialog box set the horizontal value to all pixels and vertical value to minus 80 pixels to create your duplicate i want to give this uh, duplicate a gradient this is basically a two stop colors gradient with white and uh, nine uh, percent gray. So, I, and I want to change the direction of my gradient from top to the bottom. Now I need to resize my duplicate. Go to the scale tool and uh, choose non-uniform. Set the value of horizontal to 100 pixels and set the value of vertical to 65. 65 and click OK to make it small. Now I want to Ctrl Y to enter the outline mode and uh, with down, down arrow key move this, move this smaller part to the bottom until uh, you will find that uh, borders of your rectangle is match with each other. You can Ctrl Y or Command Y to enter the normal mode and now we need to go to the direct selection tool, select both of your top anchors with shift key and go to the scale tool and set the uh, value to uniform 8% to create this stairs effect. And now select both of them, right mouse button click and uh, group this stair. And now we need to create uh, a few duplicates of this stair. Go to Distort and Transform, Transform, set the value of horizontal scale to 90%, set the uh, number of copies to 4, and set the vertical move value to minus 132 pixels. It's actually a height of these stairs of these two rectangles combined. So check preview and click OK. Go to the object and expand appearance. And now we need to create a copy. To create a copy, go to the edit, copy and now edit paste in back. And now holding Alt or Option key, make it more narrow. And I want to give this uh, copy to this uh, gradient. This is a three color stop gradient. So give a gradient with airdropper tool. And uh, now I want to return to my original file. And you might think this is a ridiculous. That how comes that our copy is behind our stairs? But I will fix this in a second. So select your original stairs file. Go to transparency panel. Uh, if you can find the transparency, go to Windows transparency. And uh, now set the blending mode to multiply. And we will achieve this effect. Uh, return to your copy. And uh, with the shape builder tool, combine all of these rectangles to one, to one shape. Beautiful. And now we need to distribute this gradient with gradient tool from top to the bottom and this is how we can create this uh, stairs now we need to place our numbers go to the type tool type 01 i choose open sun slide tool for my 
numbers, set the fill color to B7, 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 and click OK, and place it to the first tier, and now I want to create some duplicates of this number, go to the effect, transform, and uh, set the horizontal value to 100 pixels, and set the uh, vertical uh, horizontal move value to 25 pixels preview and click OK to apply the effect then uh, go to the object expand appearance and ungroup them and ungroup every duplicate you have and now change the numbers now I want to place my icons but I want to create some kind of placeholders uh, for them go to the circle create a circle and th then go to the effect transform and uh, set the horizontal move value to minus 25 pixels check preview and click OK and now I'm going to place my icons to this on these circles and delete my circles. So we will create this uh, stairs, and uh, I want to create uh, create an arrow. And uh, for doing this, uh, go to rectangle tool, create a rectangle, set the color of your rectangle to this value. And now I want to go to the polygon tool, set the number of sides to three, with Holding Alt key with selection tool, I want to make it more wider and more bigger. Place on my rectangle, align them, select both of them, and with the shape builder tool, combine them. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe, thumb up, visit tutorials to download this freebie. I will come back to you very soon.